We've been in this house for 16 years and this master bathroom renovation is one of our first renovation projects in the house. It went so well that I'm so hoping that my husband will be on board for our kitchen renovation next. This bathroom was a builder's basic bathroom with beige tiles, very generic fixtures. We had a very basic vanity with one drawer that my husband and I shared with one sink. We had a jacuzzi tub that spanned wall to wall under the window, totally wasting a whole wall span. The shower was dark and tiny, there was no lighting, so it was a really uninviting space to be in. Designing for myself as a designer proved to be challenging in the beginning. We are exposed to so much beautiful product out there. I had a really hard time reining myself in, so I started the process with a concept board. So the idea was to create a high contrast envelope with dark flooring, introduce textures, wood tones, and I wanted to have lots of black to really punctuate the space. I really wanted this to be a decorated bathroom, not just a utilitarian space, but I wanted to layer in all the things that I love and that I draw inspiration from. I wanted to stay neutral because I change things all the time. I change the art and the rest of my house has some color. I really wanted this to just be a neutral, you know, calming space. It all began with the dark tile for the flooring. I love this particular tile from Sarah Gray, which is a large format hexagon tile in the dark basalt finish. And then I wanted to layer in some warmth, so I played around with different shades to nail down the vanity color, which is a soft grayish and I combined two different finishes. So the frame is a 20% sheen painted finish, and then the drawer fronts are linen textured laminate, which is just a beautiful juxtaposition of textures. We chose these beautiful holes as jewelry pieces for the drawer faces, and we splurged on the countertop. Quartzite is one of my favorite countertop materials to use in a bathroom, and I just love the veining on this beautiful piece. In terms of the vanity, a lot of people request double sinks and we chose to keep the single sink because we value more counter space. And to be honest, we are never in here at the same time. So having one sink is just perfect. We are lucky to have both a tub and a shower. We did enlarge it a little bit. We also put lighting in there so it's bright. My husband had a minimal wish list. He just wanted a niche where he can put his shampoos and soaps in there. Also a teak bench, which is very sculptural and we had a custom glass door made for it to again allow lots of light. There are two fantastic designer finds in this bathroom. One is this cabinet. It was $45 plus hardware and paint. And the drapes are from Ikea. I found it on Facebook Marketplace, this god-awful high gloss brown china cabinet, and I painted it in half a day. Gave it a brand new look and layered all my favorite things in the cabinet. So some of our beautiful towels are in there and found objects that we have found on our travels. I wanted to incorporate brass in this bathroom because I think it's another way to warm up the black and white contrast. But I did not want to use brass on the plumbing fixtures. I was worried that they would be too high maintenance. So we went with chrome finishes, which are totally maintenance free and they're always shiny and bright. But I did layer lots of brass finishes in, in terms of the towel hooks, the beautiful poles on the vanity are brass as well, and all the frames and some of the accessories are in brass. I would definitely recommend getting a bathroom renovation done in your home. Often homeowners, and same for my husband and I, we had a little bit to invest in our home, but we weren't quite ready to pursue the kitchen renovation yet. And this was a great start to dabble in the renovation process. Start with a smaller project, and I can tell you, it's totally worth it. You're going to love getting ready in the morning in a place that is inspiring.